Hi, this is What You're Waiting For, and this is A Woman's Perspective on Camping and Survival, and today I was going to show you uh, the small uh, pantry. It's not even really a pantry. It's a washer-dryer area that's off of our main kitchen. I'll just show you. Yeah, this is our kitchen. Um, and I was going to open it up and show you where we store some of our food. This is on the main floor. We still have more food downstairs, but this is where we put... The main food that we can get to every day makes it easier. And let me just come and open and show you. It, I wanted to show you it closed because it's not all that much space. Uh, but we fit a lot in here. As you can see, it's a washer dryer area. But we'll start right over here. I haven't had any problems with the heat from the washer and dryer. Uh, it's well vented and it doesn't seem to get very hot in here. It's right on the main floor. So... We do have air coming in here, so it's kept at a pretty constant temperature. Sometimes it might get a little warmer than the rest of the house, but not much. Uh, but I'll just show you. There's an old-fashioned pencil sharpener. <laughs> uh, these are just items that the kids can get to. Let me zoom in a little bit and make it a little, a little easier. We have jello, pudding, things like that that the kids can get to. Uh, these cake mixes are going to be expiring soon. That's why they're set aside. Uh, we have a lot of salmon. The, my son loves salmon. He loves to make salmon patties. Uh, we have, oh, cajeta. <laughs> when somebody brought that back from Mexico. Uh, we have potted meats, spam. Turkey spam is pretty good. Not bad. Uh, a lot of tuna fish, turkey. We love our tuna fish. Got to have our tuna fish. Uh, whenever it goes on sale, we get it. Uh, just the Nutella. Got to have that. That one's actually open and we eat out of it. And these new little packages right here. They're individual packages. This is a Dark Chocolate Dreams. It's peanut butter and chocolate. And we bought these to go in our bug out bags. And they're actually pretty good. It sort of reminds me of the Nutella. Uh, we have some larger. We love our chicken too. Our canned chicken. So we have... A bunch of canned chicken, more canned chicken, smaller salt. There's more salt up here. Got to have a lot of salt. Uh, just basic things. Uh, drink mixes, butter buds. That's really good if you don't have a refrigerator and can't have that butter. That'll give you the taste. Uh, peanuts. My family likes peanuts. Uh, as I show you, some more salt. Drink mixes. This Neato. Turned it around where you can see it a little better. Uh, it's supposed to, it's powdered milk. It's a Hispanic or Mexican powdered milk. And we haven't really tried it yet, but it's supposed to taste a lot better. I'm going to get up on my, I'm short, so I have to get up on little steps to get to things. Uh, but somebody told me that it was really good flavor and it's a lot better than the regular because it's whole milk. It's not the low fat. So we got it, and we're going to try it later. Um, up here, in that little container, and all of those, and some in the back, uh, is rice and pasta. Little, where you just add water. Sometimes you add butter, but if you have to, you can add butter buds. Um, our stock is running a little low up here, which we have to restock from downstairs. We have the stuffing mixes, extra noodles, our extra, these are ones that are the first ones we packed of, of pasta, rice. This is sort of like an overflow, beans, crackers. We usually have more macaroni and cheese up here, but the kids have been eating it, so we have to go downstairs and replenish. A lot of cake mixes. I don't know if you can see. It's not just one, it, if I can get to it. It's several. It goes back probably about seven or eight. Uh, popcorn, a lot of pancake mixes, uh, cookie mixes, stuffing everything. Um, but we love the cake mixes because we can take our Dutch oven, add fruit, canned fruit at the bottom, uh, a couple cans, throw one of those cake mixes on top, add butter on the top, put it in the Dutch oven, put some coals on the bottom and on the top, and, ooh, it is delicious. It's just like cobbler. Uh, over here we have about three things of syrup. We need to renew that, restock. 
the kids have been... This is the stuff that the kids get to all the time, so I really have to watch this section. And when I need to restock it, go downstairs. Uh, ketchup, or I find things on sale if, if I'm down, if I don't have any more down there. Uh, mustard, a lot of spaghetti sauce. We love spaghetti. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right there. Um, we're probably going to have to look for another sale. Things like carrots, uh, these are corn here, corn, carrots, uh, green beans, potatoes, mashed potatoes. We go through a lot of the Betty Crocker. There's it's a bag full of them. There's probably about four or five left here. Uh, we use those a lot when we go camping. They're really good, really easy to make. I can see up here I need to restock my carrots and potatoes, and I think that's almost all of my carrots. For some reason, we went through carrots. So I need to look for stuff that's on sale. Uh, down here on the bottom shelf, we have diced tomatoes, lots of jelly, five things of jelly there. We usually have more. Peanut butter, I have four. We usually have more, but my daughter loves peanut butter and jelly. Honey, we only have one because we don't really use it, but we will have to start learning because we might not be able to have sugar later. Uh, tomato sauces, large cans, small cans. Pickles, my children love pickles, so we usually buy the big things of pickles. Um, I'm down to one now. I usually have two. Uh, refried beans, easy to do. As you can see, our <laughs> Chef Boy RD, my daughter loves, and she's got into it. So we either have to renew from downstairs. If I don't have any downstairs, I definitely need to restock on this. Uh, dry, instant, dry milk. We don't use this all the time. These are the ones in the envelope. But I do once in a while like to mix it with uh, the current milk that we have just to get the kids used to the flavor. Uh, we have breadcrumbs. Um, those are really good for the salmon patties. Uh, that's something you might not think about adding, but it's really good. Uh, summer sausage, Vienna sausages. I just have an extra bean there. I think I was getting ready, and these are just the odd things, bacon bits, to add to one of our bug out buckets, and I just haven't got around to getting it together yet. Uh, we have a lot of the ramen noodle soup. As you can see, my kids love it. It's easy for them to prepare. They eat it a lot. <laughs> I know the salt is terrible, but it's something fast that they can grab. Um, cocoa mix. Like this is one of those big 60 things of hot cocoa. We don't drink coffee, so hot cocoa is our fix. A lot of soups. And I told you all about these Bear Creek soups. I love them. Uh, we did them when we went to camping during spring break. Loved it. The kids loved it. A lot of different soups, fruits, a bunch of different fruits, um, more soups in there is, I believe, just like chili powder and stuff like that that we had gotten from Mexico. We have another thing of milk. This is expiring probably in about four months, so I've been trying to add this to our regular milk to get the kids used to the flavor. Um, I also have things in here like, I don't know if you can see it, bread flour. Um, I, I do a lot of bread making, so bread flour, all-purpose flour, uh, spices, the yeast, bread machine yeast, because I, I like to do the bread machine. It doesn't take as much time, and it, it turns out really great. But that's just an idea of what we fit in a very... Oh, up here, I can't open it right now, but we have... Our breakfast cereals, Pop-Tarts that the kids eat, and we keep those and those two. I can't reach it. <laughs> I'm too short. Over here we have flashlights, candles, emergency supplies, propane uh, lighter, the, I mean the propane lamp, and our fire extinguisher, of course. And as you can see, these are our buckets. Some of them are bug-out buckets. That's actually the soap that we make that we use. Uh, bug-out buckets. On this side we have our bug-out buckets. Uh, so that's a, just a quick tour. It's not that much space, but you see how much stuff we got in there. And uh, I just wanted to let you all know, you know, we need to restock some stuff. But keep an eye on your stock. And uh, you can fit a lot of stuff in a small space. So get out there and get shopping and get prepared. And what you waiting for? Bye.